I'm going to demonstrate the use of layer masks in Photoshop um, by adding fairy wings to this portrait of this cute little girl sitting on the windowsill. So first step is to select the wings we want to use and I'll try these. Okay, these are going really um, the wrong position for the way she's sitting, but the colors are perfect. I think it'll look really pretty, so I'm just going to select part of the wing just with a really loose lasso selection. Just draw around the part I want and grab it and drag it on top of the image. Now if you'll notice, first of all, it placed it on a new layer over the background layer, the image. Um, the first thing we notice about this fairy wing is it's going in the wrong direction, so I'm just going to do a quick edit, transform, flip horizontal. Now it's going in the right direction. It's not exactly where I want, so we're going to transform it using free transform, which you can find in the same place. Edit right above transform is free transform. You can hit that or you can use the shortcut command T. And that'll give you the ability to move it around, um, to adjust it, make it a little bigger, a little smaller. Kind of like that looks about right, I think, for a pretty little fairy wing. And click return and that's looking good so far. Um, to help us see, and also when I, I do fairy wings, I often reduce the opacity of the wings just to give it the transparent fantasy type look. So let's take this opacity down about 50%. Doesn't have to be exact. Maybe a little less than 50. It's to where it looks kind of light and airy and fairy-like and that's looking good. Um, normally there would be two wings, so let's go ahead and duplicate that layer. Now you now see two images of the wings in the layer palette and the one on top and the one below it. So I'm going to go ahead and select the layer below and just Scooch it over a little bit because this is going to be my further wing. And again, I'm going to transform it and just tilt it a little to get the angle I want and make it a little bit smaller because things that are further from the eye appear a little smaller. And that's looking good for now. Right about there. I think that works pretty good. And the next step is we're going to take the two wings and make them one wing by um, merging the top layer down to the bottom or selecting both and go under layer, merge layers. And now we have a set of wings just like we. We're starting with one back here that's already in a set that would work. So I'm going to go ahead and close Bridge L. And we now have a perfect set of little wings for our little fairy to be. And position it where we want. The only problem is that the wings are hiding part of the little girl. And we don't want that. We want the wings to be behind her. Well, this is really, really easy to fix with the layer mask. Um, all you do is you come on down to the bottom of the layer palette and click the little icon. It's a square with a circle inside it. And if you hover over it, it'll even say Add Layer Mask. So you know you're in the right place. And you'll get this nice little white box. And... The white box, think of it as a sheet of clear glass or um, acetate sitting over the layer, which it's right next to. And in the world of layer masks, white reveals and black conceals. So we have this white box revealing everything that's underneath it. And right now it's revealing the wings. Well, we want to 
concealed the part of the wings here that's hiding the little girl. So all we're going to do is go over and select our paintbrush and then select the black paint and with a nice brush we're just going to paint over what we want to conceal. And it's that simple. I'm going to zoom in so we can see where we're at. Now the beauty of layer masks is that it is 100% non-destructive. What that means is you are not destroying any pixels. Like were you to use the eraser tool to erase this part of the mask, you cannot get that back. That's destructive. Um, as long as you have this layer mask in place, you can always go back, switch your color, take your white paint, and once again, reveal. And this comes in very handy when you make a mistake. Say so you're going along, oops, and you get distracted and you go back up here and you do something else and you come back okay and let's go on down here and get rid of the the wing that's coming out in front of the dress here we're gonna conceal that and let's see what else okay so we're outside the lines a bit and we're going to switch colors, go back to the white, and reveal the part of the wings that should be there. And you can use a smaller brush to get more exact. And normally I'll be, I would be using a Wacom tablet when I'm doing this kind of work. It makes it a lot easier. Oops, so paint with black to conceal and white to reveal and we can switch back and forth easily by hitting the X key and that if you notice here will change our our colors to the black and the white and I'm leaving this mistake here for a reason because we're going to now come and add something else really quick to make this fairy portrait and let me open the bridge again and let's get some fairy dust and just grab um, some fairy dust and drag it on and maybe duplicate that and we have some fairy dust going on and it's starting to look a little magical, but then I notice, oh, what happened? I've got this oops over here. Well, it's really easy to go back at this point and just take my white brush and reveal back the part of the wings that were concealed by the mistake I made. Very simple. Working with layer masks. Lots of fun. Real easy. Try it. You won't use the eraser tool ever again.